When you think about a breakfast burrito or something that you're cooking for breakfast and you have a type of meat, generally what do you think of? You usually think that you're going to have some form of pork, like bacon or sausage or ham or something like that. But have you ever really considered using ground beef? Now, I mean, this is actually steak. This is ground chuck. And so this is what we're going to use today. Now I know something's missing because I've made me some ground beef or ground chuck steak hamburgers lately. And so we're going to use this today. So, hey, welcome back to Mr. Cast Iron. We're going to get ready. We've got our, 12, our, our three knots lodge uh, cast iron skillet heating up here. This is one of my favorite skillets. And so I'm going to get ready and add some of this ground beef to it or ground chuck, ground chuck steak to it. And uh, we're going to brown that up a little bit. And then we're going to come back and drain that off, drain the fat off of that. And uh, I'm not going to put all of this in here. I'm only going to put about half of it in here today because I'm only going to make about two burritos for me and Teresa, maybe three out of all of this. But anyway, we'll get this ready and brown up, uh, get our ground steak in there. I'm going to add me a little bit of salt, pepper and garlic powder. That's my favorite SPG. And I'll just sprinkle a little bit of that in there and we'll go ahead and let this get started browning up and uh, we'll get back and we'll drain that off. And I'm going to show you how we uh, put together a ground beef breakfast burrito. But while in the meantime, while we're doing this, I've got a mixing bowl here. I've got three country eggs. We're gonna crack those and get those in here and uh, get ready and mix those up. Whoop, broke that one. <laughs> But anyway, now one thing I like to do with my eggs, some people like to put milk in their eggs to make them fluffier or whatever, but I like to add a little bit of water to mine. And the reason why I do that, uh, milk sometimes will, um, well, it will clabber and it will, uh, you know, it may scald or scold, whatever you want to call it, scalded milk. And I don't really like that. Uh, it, uh, water won't do that. But you just take your eggs, mix them up real good. I'm going to add just a little bit of regular salt, not my SPG, but just a regular, little bit of regular salt and pepper to this. Go ahead and get that mixed up real good while our meat is browning up. And um, as soon as that gets done, we'll be back here in just a minute and we're going to show you how we put all this together. Okay, well as you can see, our ground chuck has browned up nicely. And of course you always are gonna have some grease fat, some, some beef fat um, that renders down off of your ground beef. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take and pour this onto a paper plate, uh, paper towel line, paper plate. Now one thing Mrs. Cast Iron does, she actually takes a colander and puts it in a colander and washes her ground beef in the sink, well, in a pan, not not run the grease down the uh, the drain, but she actually puts it uh, in a pan to where she can drain the grease off. And you can do it either way. You can do it on a paper towel, or you can do it in a colander, however you want. But what you want to do, you basically want to get all your grease out of your cast iron skillet. And uh, we've got it back on the burner. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take and I'm going to cut me about two tablespoons of butter. And I'm just gonna toss that in there, let this begin to melt down. And uh, this really adds an, an additional layer of flavor to your breakfast burrito. Now, I don't know if everybody does this or not, but I'm gonna tell you, when you add some whole butter, I'm not talking about margarine or anything like that. I can't believe it's butter because it ain't butter, but I'm talking about whole butter. And uh, you put that in there, let that begin to melt down while your beef is draining. And uh, the next thing you want to do at that point, once this gets uh, melted down, you want to go ahead and just take and put your ground beef right back into your skillet. Now that all that uh, beef fat is drained off into the paper towel, get that in there with your butter. 
Now I'm not going to get it all there because that's pretty greasy. But anyway, you get that back in there and let that butter absorb into your ground beef. And once that basically incorporates with the ground beef, you can see how all the butter basically is gone there. So what we want to do at this point, we're going to take our eggs, go ahead and fluff them back up a little bit. And then you just want to pour that right in that mixture right on top of your ground beef. And what I like to do at this point, don't, don't stir it or anything. We're on about medium heat. So just kind of rotate your skillet a little bit like that to get the egg mixture all over every bit of your ground beef. And then just let that begin to firm up. You can see on the outside edge how this is beginning to firm up a little bit. And what you want to do, you'll, you'll notice around this outside edge, you'll see these eggs starting to pull away from your cast iron skillet. And you'll notice that they're firming up. And that's what we want to do. There's starting to be a little bubbling going on here. All this is mixing together with the, with the ground beef, ground chuck, and the butter. And of course, we've already flavored it a little bit with salt, pepper, and garlic, SPG. And so as these eggs begin to firm up, you can just start to pull them together like this right here. May have had a little too much, uh, well bless you. May have had a little bit too much of uh, hamburger. I should have probably had another egg in there with this. But uh, anyway. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I had to do now. I realized that I had a little bit more ground beef than I normally put in here. So I went ahead uh, a few minutes ago and added two more eggs to this. But I want you to see how this is all coming together. Now, uh, you can see the water and the butter uh, beginning to evaporate. So we're going to go ahead and let this, and you see how these eggs and, and the ground beef has incorporated together. I mean, that's perfect for a, a burrito. But we're going to let this water and this butter continue to evaporate. Once this is completely gone, then we're going to construct our burrito and put it together and show you what that looks like. Okay, well, our eggs are done. Our ground chuck and our eggs are all incorporated together. Uh, the biggest majority of the butter and the uh, water has evaporated out, it's cooked down nicely. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put this burrito together. I've got a little bit of shredded cheese here, sprinkled cheese, shredded cheese, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, I've got some paste piccani sauce. Now you can use whatever kind of sauce you want. We had this on hand, so that's what we're using. So I'm gonna go ahead and put me a little bit of that in there. You know, some pico de gallo would have been good or whatever, but we didn't have it. This is what we got. So anyway, I'm just going to lay a little bit of this meat and egg mixture in here. And um, let me just show you how I put mine together. I kind of just roll the sides up, pull that over a little bit. Kind of roll my sides up and just twist that baby up just like that right there and so there we go there's our ground beef and egg breakfast burrito we cut this in half and at this point if you wanted to you could actually take and put this back in, the, in another skillet and brown the bottom uh, or whatever but there you have it ground beef and egg breakfast burrito. I'm getting ready to eat one. Now we made enough here for an army. So if you're hungry, give us a shout. We'd be happy to give you one. But anyway, leave us a comment. Let us know how you make your breakfast burritos. Let us know if you rather have bacon pork or pork product like bacon sausage or ham. Or if you have you ever tried with ground beef or something like that, something uh, you know, different than a pork product. Let us know down in the comments. Hey, it's Mike and Mrs. Cast Iron. We'll see you guys later. Y'all have a great day. We're getting ready to eat us a burrito.